Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the NASCAR Traxxas Cup Series Season 5 Race Number 4 from Montgomery Motor Speedway. We have 31 cars lined up and ready to rock and roll here. Uh, first before we look at your starting lineup, let's take a look at just uh, the track by itself and what makes it so interesting. Well, first of all, you have the start-finish line, as you can see, very close to turns 1 and 2. Uh, making for an exciting race because normally the start finish line would be somewhere right around in that area. So if you get a big enough run coming off of turn four and you're in and you're in second on the final lap, you might just have a chance to snatch up a victory. Another very interesting thing about this racetrack, you'll probably notice that the walls get super, super close, making it very narrow. But then right back here all the way across the track until you get to right back there. Right there you can only go too wide which makes up for a very exciting and sometimes crash filled entry and exit. You'll see people trying to scramble and get three wide right as they come out here all day. I can guarantee you this will be Calamity Corner. So guys let's get down track side and take a look at your starting lineup for today's race. The Red Bull 350. On the pull Four car of Caden Parr on the Hunt Brothers Pizza car. He's been very fast. Look out for him. And then you have the 78 car of Kyler Boggs and making only his second NASCAR tracks as Cup Series start. He has been a breakthrough sensation. Coming in second last week. Can he do one spot better and get the win today? Behind them you have Connor Bretton in the Dogecoin number 98 car. Followed by Edder Martins. Then you've got the 22 of Haley Wells, followed by the 14 car of Justin Wages. You've got the 19 car, Ken Carthers, followed by the 41 of Jacob Tube. Then you have the 27 of Justin Erdman, followed by the 20 of Tanner Bradshaw. And then, and then uh, behind them you have two Richard Childress Racing cars, the number 3 of Greg Hunter and the 31 of Michael Collins. Then you have last week's winner in the number 42, Tony Green, followed by Hunter Miller. And the 5 car of Jared Holmes, followed by the 88 Windows 10 machine of Brock Clifton. Then you have the, f the, the future and the past of the sport. Number 25 of William Martin, followed by the 24 car of Bradley Kaltenbach. And you've got two of the Ford underdogs, the number 38 car of Eric Horton, followed by the 44 of Glenn Grimm. And you got road course ringer AJ, or, or sorry, um, road course ringer Zach Ryle, and the 10 of Sierra Wells. And you have the two car running a throwback scheme to Rusty Wallace. You have the two of Richie Wells, followed by the 34 of Keegan Nielsen. Starting deeper towards the back, you have the 11 car Travis Gellin, followed by the 50, the 15 of Peak 56. Then you have the 16 car, Austin Delgado, followed by the 48 of KB1821. And then you have the number 1 of Austin Wells, followed by the 6 of Buddy Wells. And rounding out your field in number 61, Cartoon Network Machine, is Anthony Hahn. So guys, this is a very exciting 10 lap race. We're going to have to see what happens. Uh, it's going to get very interesting, guys. No, uh, we do not have anything else to say to you guys. We're ready to get this thing underway. Green flag is in the air here, we're on lap one, and already the four car, Kevin Harvick, pulls out to a very good lead. 98 of Josh Wise in second, he's going to get around him here as they go on lap two, 98 of Josh Wise with the lead now. There's a flyby of your field. And there we go, Kyle Busch in that number 18 car, he's going to get oh, he's gonna get the third spot, looking after the second spot. As we're here on lap three, and we've got a cautions out in a hard crash there for Dale Earnhardt Jr., Many others. Let's take a look at what happened here. So, I guess he got turned off the back bumper. The 16 car goes into the wall. Han gets underneath him. He is lifted off of the ground. Right up and back into the path of the 16 car. Then as Han is trying to get to pit road, he pulls down in front of the 15 car, who hits him, and he gets put on his hood. So that's a very scary crash. Everybody is okay. Could have been a lot worse, though. We've seen the huge wrecks that happened. Anyways, here we go. The restart on lap six. 
There's a, we're just going to let you kind of look at the field. There we go, another flyby as we get over here to the battle for the lead. Kyle Busch following the number 98 car. Now he's going to get around him for the lead here on lap 7. Joey Logano making some moves. He's going to pull way down to the bottom of the racetrack. Here we go, looking at the field on the back stretch. Kyle Busch still with the lead, followed by Joey Logano. Now Logano's going to try to make the move on to the bottom. These guys are not giving up. It's a complete dogfight as we got a caution, a huge crash here on the front stretch. Someone is flipping over. It looks like we had a total of two flips right there in that crash. I think Kurt Busch got over a few times, and maybe Jimmy Johnson. Let's take a look. You know when there's a crash in those turns... You know it's going to be huge, and this one definitely was huge. We've got a lot of cars involved. You see the 41 car going over. There's the 48. He is right into the wall. 41 still flipping, and uh, at this point, really, everyone's just piling in. The track is about ready to be blocked off. And the 48 car... Oh, he got hit really hard right there by the one. Does he fully go over? No, he does not, but that car does get some serious airtime. Almendinger involved. Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon, many others destroyed in this crash. A huge wreck here. But anyways, guys, we're going to get back to the green flag. It is overtime attempt number one here under the lights in Joey Logano. To the lead, and now here we go. He's going to get sucked back into three wide mix, and we got a huge wreck on the back stretch coming out of turn number two. Harvick's blowing up. We're going to take a look at this. I don't really, I guess he must have gotten turned off the back bumper of the 27. Brad Kozlowski did, but he has a uh, another flip. There's a lot of flips in this race, and then you see Austin Dillon. Uh, he got plowed into by the number 25, Chase Elliott, and the 23 car just went over the top of someone. Yeah, this is a crazy wreck. This is a crazy race, man. These races are a wreck fest. It makes for some very exciting races. We're going to have a second attempt at overtime. Now, we do it here a little bit differently in the NASCAR Traxxas Cup Series. We, it doesn't matter where you're at. There's a caution, there's a caution. Anyways, here we go. Overtime attempt number two. Kyle Busch is going to try to get the lead, and they're going to take it three wide going into turn number three. Oh, and we got a, oh, you know, uh, what a save there by the number 78 of Martin Truex Jr. He's not going to be in contention, but here we go, the white flag, and look at Logano making daring moves, going to the very bottom of the racetrack, taking it three wide where you almost cannot do that at. Here we go, last guess, and Kyle Busch is going to get to the back of the number 22 and turn him. Kyle Busch off the turn will win this race as they all scramble for any position they can. Oh, my God, we got to take a replay of that finish. Action-packed finish. You were holding your breath there for that last lap. You could not breathe, could you? Kyle Busch just desperately puts the bumper to Logano, moves him out of the way, and he will get around him for his first victory this season. He is going to lock himself into the chase with that move. There's your burnout by the champion, Kyle Busch. And that is the conclusion of the NASCAR Tracks this Cup Series Season 5 Race Number 4 from Montgomery Motor Speedway. We saw definitely on the back stretch in Turn 2 was Calamity Corner. There were a lot of cars involved. As a matter of fact, we have no spots left in the garage. It's lucky nobody wrecked on the last lap, especially with the way they were going down the back stretch. Congratulations to Edder Martins on your victory today. And second, after getting bunted out of the way in turn number four by Edder Martins is the number 22 car of Haley Wells. Connor Bretton in the 98 car bringing up a very good third place finish. And behind them you have race one winner in the number 10 car, Sierra Wells. And then Kyler Boggs once again making only his second start. He's been very good. Got second last week at the Lincoln Short Track. He's fifth this week. Could he possibly win next week? And then behind them, you have the number five car of Jared Holmes. The 34 with a very good run and staying out of all that mayhem. The number 34, Keegan Nielsen. The 44 car, Glenn Grimm. And that was all the cars that uh, made it past that huge wreck. Uh, it's pretty much uh, extremely hard to find anybody and where they finished at down here. And, um... <laughs> the garage, but there's the 25 of William Martin, the 42, last week's winner, Tony Green, the 4 car of Caden Parr, who started on pole, the 6 of Buddy Wells, 
the two of Richie Wells, the three of Greg Hunter, the 20 car, Tanner Bradshaw, the 27 car of Justin Erdman, 23 of Hunter Miller, 47 Zach Ryle, 38 Eric Horton, the 24 Bradley Kaltenbach, 31 Michael Collins, and then you have the one car, Austin Wells, 48 KB1821, 41 of Jacob Tube, the 11 car of Travis Gellin, the 14 of Justin Wages, you have then the 19 of Ken Carthers, 88 Windows 10 car of Brock Clifton, the 15 of Peak 56, 61 of Anthony Hahn, and the 16 car Greg Biffle. So guys, that was a very exciting race. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I tried to do better with the uh, speeds and everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know I enjoyed making it. Peace out, guys. I will see you next time. And congratulations to your winner today, the 18 Crispy M&M's Toyota Camry. Edder Martins, you are locked into the chase.